And welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our Iron Man campaign playthrough in Ready or Not version 1.0. If you guys are enjoying this series and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd invite you guys to do that now. And if you're still looking to purchase a copy of Ready or Not, remember, you can grab it over off of my game store, which is at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. It's actually been $10 cheaper over there. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I encourage you to grab a copy from the game store if you're still on the market for the game. Thanks for doing that. It does directly support the channel. In today's Iron Man playthrough, we are taking on our next mission. This one is called A Lethal Obsession Occurring Over at Sullivan's Slope. And remember, during this Iron Man playthrough, if we die, my save automatically gets deleted. This is definitely the most hardcore and most realistic way you can play through a Ready or Not campaign. The stakes are extraordinarily high. And for that reason, I'm approaching it very cautiously, very deliberately, and as realistically as I can, given my background as a service member with a little bit of experience in this sort of stuff. Of course, the game mechanics don't lend itself perfectly to playing in a, you know, a tactical or a realistic way, but I'm also trying to avoid cheesing the game as much as I can. I know I can load up a building with bangers and stingers and gas and just tase people and pepper ball them to death and shoot for better scores, but that is not how we are playing. We're choosing to approach it more realistically, which may result in this run through ending earlier than it should, but we'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at today's mission and do some initial planning, get the guys set up, and then go hit this thing. All right, boys, listen up. We all heard about the shooting down at the McCade station. We got three officers fighting for their lives, and three have already lost theirs. But we have something else, too. We got the name and probable location of the son of a bitch who did this. We've also got the pleasure of being the ones who get to get him. Settle down. What we know about the events earlier today is that Gerard Scott set up an ambush by lighting a car on fire near the McCade station. He lay in wait, and when the police arrived, he opened fire on them with a rifle. Scott then fled the scene in an RV. A member of the public who was nearby when the shooting started got the license plate, which we've traced to a compound up on Sullivan Slope. Scott's details are coming through to your tablets. We don't know much about this guy. He used to work for the USIA in an office-based role. He has no family, no friends, and apparently no known acquaintances. He wasn't even known to us until today. We got nothing to work with, no motive, no history of law enforcement. All we know is that this guy likes to keep to himself. He's already shown he's not afraid to shoot a cop, so I doubt he's going to welcome us with open arms. Be careful up there. I do not want to be responsible for the chaplain showing up at anyone else's wife's door today. I understand that emotions are going to be high, but we do not know what we are walking into. I want us to be swift and sensible. He's shown that he has serious firepower and we need to be ready for anything. Something triggered him, and that makes him a very dangerous individual. Now gear up and report back to your element leaders in the garage in five minutes. Man, um, very powerful mission brief. I'm loving the storytelling in the Ready or Not 1.0 campaign. They've done a phenomenal job with it. Some st things that stick out to me looking at this first, just looking at the picture. Uh, I'm obviously familiar with this map, having played Ready or Not for a long time now. I've not yet played it in campaign. Um, and, uh, and this is a, you know, they described it as a compound up on the slopes. Uh, this guy has already killed police officers with a rifle. He lives in a rural area on the slopes. He's a former intelligence agency employee, and he's also unknown to law enforcement. Um, 
that all sounds very weird to me, right? Like if, if he has the intent to light a, uh, a vehicle on fire in front of a police station and then ambush officers, he's um, got a lot going on. He lives in this rural area described as a compound. If you look at it, I don't know how much media we have in here. Okay, we've got some more details about the actual area. Um, ooh, that looks... Improvised chemical agent aerosol attacks with ricin. Okay, so this is the first time we're maybe considering traps pretty seriously. I'm always very deliberate about traps, but I'm going to be extra careful on this one. He lives up in Sullivan Slope. Experienced or experimented hikers or experienced hikers. That might be a typo. Um, 12 miles, 3,000 feet, max altitude 7,500 feet. Okay, so he lives in the middle of freaking nowhere. We got to assume he's fit if he's living up in that rural area. Um, I, I guess I shouldn't assume that, but he certainly could be. He's using a rifle. We got a description of him. What's interesting to me, look at this picture and then compare that to what he looked like when he got out of the intelligence agency that he was employed for. So it looks like he's kind of fallen off the bandwagon, maybe fallen guilty or fallen victim to some conspiracy. Dude's looking disheveled and dirty, bearded, and he's got a rifle. Um, and he's living out in the boonies. To me, that means he's probably wearing body armor. He may even have the ability to protect himself from chemical agent like gas. I'm gonna bring gas and bangs anyway, just in case. Um, and because he's done this in a premeditated fashion and committed this very deliberate assault, it also makes me think that he's prepared to have an assault on his compound, which to me means wires. Uh, it, may means he might, it may mean he might have buddies in the area that are helping him defend the place. Uh, he's probably fortified this thing and is expecting to be assaulted. So this is a very deliberate, high intensity, uh, frankly, a direct action raid. Um, that is a, you know, in the military, we call it a killer capture. Here, law enforcement, obviously, the pre preference is to serve a high risk warrant and arrest this guy, but he's already killed cops. So my suspicion is, you know, that's gonna be something that's difficult to do. Um, if we look at the map here, lower level has a breach on the uh, red side corner. Top level, Looks like he's got an exterior deck, a breach right here. Okay, now if I'm, if I'm remembering the map correctly, there's like stairs that come up this way into a main breach. Looks like there may even be like a, a side breach or if these are actually, these are stacked on top of each other. So you have a main breach and then there's a side breach directly below it. Windows all along the sides and the top, but in the media, it looked like those windows were boarded up for the most part. But I would also expect him, if he's expecting an assault, to be doing some level of observation. It's going to be very difficult to remain undetected um, as we conduct our infill. Okay, I think my plan here um, is going to be probably to clear it from top down, just because that's preferred. Um, I'll work the lower level. If I see any external breaches or doors on the lower level that aren't accounted for in this imagery, I will wedge them to prevent him from squirting out or any of his buddies from squirting out and then maneuvering on us from the rear. Um, and, you know, real world, you'd have a containment element or an isolation element or pickets posted to prevent people from exfilling the compound so you could capture them um, as they tried to run away or maneuver on you. You don't have that in Ready or Not, so they give you these wedges that are essentially rear security insurance. Um, so we'll use those wedges to wedge up as much as the lower level as we can. Also taking a peek under these doors, looking for traps to try to get a sense of what the compound looks like. Move up to the top level, conduct our deliberate entry into the top level. I suspect if we still have the element of surprise, uh, depending on what we get with the wand, if there's suspects that are visible in the top level, I'm just gonna hit it hard. I'm, I'm thinking like C2, bang, um, enter and clear dynamically, try to maintain the element of surprise and get these guys in handcuffs if we can take them alive. Once that's done, we have to assume that we've been compromised on the lower level. So we'll do a deliberate clearance to the top level of the deck, uh, pick up all the evidence we can, and then look for stair access to go downstairs. Then I'll have to make a call whether or not we wanna push downstairs from the top level, or if we wanna go external and clear it from uh, external because again, we've lost that element of surprise. There's potentially guns pointed upstairs at us and we may not want to get caught in that funnel going down. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's take a look at the guys. All right, so I've gone through for everybody. I get everybody in gas masks in case we do deploy gas. Everyone has bangs. We've got wedges on both teams, a wand on both teams, a breaching shotgun on both teams, flash bangs on both teams. Lock, uh, lock picks spread across both teams. I have a taser on my kit. I also have a 320 flash launcher so I can put uh, munitions deeper in the compound if we have a barricaded shooter that the guys can't get to. 
Um, everyone's still running their same rifles, but I've swapped all the ammunition over to armor piercing for the primary and hollow point for the secondary. The idea being that these guys could be in kit and may need that AP ammo um, and the secondary with the hollow point just because it's not going to get through armor anyway. So I'd rather have that hollow point to prevent over penetration. And uh, if we can get neck, head, uh, pelvic girdle shots that they will expand and cause a larger wound cavity and be more lethal. Um, but that's what we're going in with. All that's left to do now is to do the damn thing. Iron Man saves man, stresses me out every single time. I'm familiar with this level. I'm not familiar with it in campaign. I've certainly never attempted it on Iron Man mode. Um, so the nerves are high. Let's get it done. Talk to entry team. Suspects Gold. have a Follow. foothold in this area oh, and they're me. refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you right. are cleared to proceed with the mission. So in our initial media, this was reported as a two-story structure. I'm already seeing three stories. Looks like there's a Zulu level down here a second level and then the top level that's that deck so that would be on the third floor all right we're gonna creep it work the right side look for any external entries wand them in route and then uh, if there's any traps disarm them and then there's a vehicle on fire over there remember hit the ambush he said earlier was with the on fire vehicle so we're already seeing that TTP being used again and moving quietly here as best I can. Really, really concerned about these windows and the decks. And there's external stairs right there as well. Red stack up. Red, put the stack on the door. Or blue on me. Blue on my six. I'm putting red in a stack just because I want them to pull security for me on that side of the building while we work this. And they're calling that door unlocked. Blue and moving clear. Move in and clear it. Got it. Let's go. Open it on the left. All right, so that looks like it terminates. That door's unlocked. All right, there is a door here. Blue stack up. Blue split cover. I don't want to enter from down here and clear upstairs because if they're above me, they're just going to be raining fire down on me. Real world, they'd be dumping frags potentially if they had them or other handhelds down on top of me. Wand it. Check it with the wand. 10-4. What the hell? What just exploded? All clear. Everybody okay? Wedge the door. Use the jam. I have no idea what just happened, if that was a glitch or what, but I don't like that on my Iron Man saves. I also just heard a door open. Blue on me. On me, move. I have to go back in the replay and see what the hell just exploded. I did hear a door that could have been upstairs, so I'm cognizant of that. Red fallen. Red, stay on me. I'm with you. Alright, we're hearing those dudes mumbling. Red, move here. Stack up. In position. Alright, here's that split level. Windows facing us, they're covered. Blue, move here. Blue, there. Go. I want them to look up the I'm stairs. Moving. I'm going to cover the deck. Red stack up. Red split and provide cover on the right. door. I'm going to wedge this external door as well if I can. Also, just pulling rear security for the guys while I can. Unlock. There we go. We do have a gun up there. Wand it. Use the wand. Check for targets. Wand's ready. Oh, man. There's a trap on no this contact. door. All right, I'm really sketched out disarming traps now after that one explosion. I am going to attempt it here. Disarm the trap. Remove the trap quietly. And our suspicions are confirmed. We are seeing hey, don't you think it's a little too fucking much? freaking booby traps on this thing. Wedge it. Block that door. door jam ready. Again, putting wedges in. They're acting as our rear security, our containment as we do our clearance. Wedges ready. 
Red fall in. Fall in. I'll use six. Blue, stack up. Blue, split the stack and provide cover. All right, now I've got red to my rear, pulling rear security. I've got blue working the stack up here. Still uncompromised as far as I know, despite that odd explosion that we heard. Maybe they were cooking something up and somebody's dead inside. We're good to go. Door's unlocked, that's a bonus. Want it. Mirror for suspects. Got it. And I'm here and talking inside still. So we know they're home. Several openings. Safe. No traps. No contact. No contact. Very bizarre. Gold stack up. Gold split it. Alright, I'm gonna send everybody in here. I know they called no contacts. I don't have any confidence that we can get in here uncompromised. So I'm actually gonna give it just a second. I'm gonna wand it again to see if they're on some sort of indoor patrol route and we can catch them in the open. Wand it. Wand it. On it. Wand ready. Multiple openings. Looks good. No contact. All right. Against my better judgment. Typically, you got the element of surprise. You definitely want to initiate as violently as you can. Instead, I'm going to do something very strange because I'm not certain whether or not I've been compromised. And I'm going to have them open this door quietly and let it breathe for one second. This is a dangerous move. Um, and then on my command, they will go ahead and enter. Open, leader, and clear. On my move, open and clear. All right. We're going to see if they respond to this. Looks like stairs, center room. That's a mother. I see no evidence of suspects in here. All right, we're going to go in assuming we're still in compromise based off no reaction to that door opening. Moving clear. Enter the room and clear. I'm on it. Breaking! Opening on Got the Got an opening up ahead. I got stairs front. I think I tagged that guy in the right. Took a round in the process. That wasn't very fun. I'm holding these while the rest of the guys finish this level. I do have a trap on that door over there. Red, stack up. Red, cover the area. I need someone on these stairs before I continue clearance here. Holy crap. All right, they're gonna hold that. I cannot believe I lived. That was that was super dangerous. This dude is wearing a pro mask. Before we continue, I'm gonna get this trap disarmed just because I don't want any oopsies. Blue, disarm the trap. Blue, deal with it. Disarming. Where's my other blue? All right, he's actually got a great angle right there. That's perfect. Now. I want to close this door, but I don't think I can. There it is. And again, I'm wedging the rear because I know that deck has stair access. I don't want to get messed up. Um, red stack up. Red host up and cover. Roger. Blue stack up. Host up and provide cover. Open. We're good to go. Open, leader, and clear. Red. Open and clear it on my move. Ten, I'm going to have them open that and let it breathe, see what we got outside. I'm being much more deliberate now that we are for certain compromised. I still hear talking down in the basement. This does look like it just goes external to the deck. I don't want to expose my guys to that. I think I can clear most of it from these windows. Yeah. Deck looks clear. It does wrap around over there. Okay. Red fallen. Red fallen behind me. Behind you. Wedge it. Lock the door. Wedge ready. Jammed it. Red on me. Red move here. Move over there. Heading out now. 
Here's the rest of that wraparound deck. Red stack up. Split the door. Getting into position. No external trap on that door. Good. Wand it. Check it with the mirror. Roger. Wand ready. So I'm pulling rear security for them. We've got all of our doors wedged. We're watching down in the stairs. Buttoned up pretty tight. No contact. Open, leader and clear. On my move, clear it. Acknowledged. All right. Does that go external to the deck as well? It does. All right, we're going to go ahead and clear the deck now. Move and clear. Enter and clear. Now that we Got swept it, it as Freaking. best as we could from inside the building out all the windows. I still hear voices below us. Yeah, I keep hearing those freaking voices down there. Red on me. Move to my front. Red fall in. Provide support on me. Got your back. Gold stack up. All provide cover. Roger. All right. I'm gonna have one team hold this. I'm gonna take the other team outside, remove that second level door jam that we have outside, and uh, and wind that door and see if we can get a better idea. Red on me. Red there. On the way. Red on me. Provide support. Right with you. That clearance still matters because we can't guarantee that this is all still secure. They could have squirted out the basement and come around. Red stack up. Put the stack on this door. Ready. Wand it. Mirror it. I'm on it. Mirror's ready. Open it on the left. Looks good. Area clear. All right, they're calling that clear. Remove the wedge. Pick up that deployable. Red, on my command, C2, bang, and clear. Post up. So now that we know we're compromised, I've got to move down these stairs. i got to start stacking the odds in my favor. So I'm looking for other ways to increase violence of action and just launch into this next level. Cover this area. All right, so now we've got it set so that on my command, I'm going to have... Um, Red initiate external with C2 and a bang, and blue initiate from up here with a bang, followed by movement down the stairs. It's about to get a little bit squirrely, my friends. Red, execute. Red, through. Charge ready. Blue, execute. Go, go, go. I'll do it. Gonna bang it. <laughs> Got an opening here. I got nothing here. Blue, stack up. Split and cover. Doing it. All right, they're holding that. I think I've got red over my left shoulder. Red, stack up. Split the stack and provide cover. Freaking murder hole in here. That's no bueno. All right, we're owning, we completely locked down this portion of the compound. We have one open door to our rear, which stresses me out greatly. So I'm going to wedge it and deal with the rest of this first. These guys are posted up. I'm going to work with these guys. Bang and clear. Move in, bang and clear. Bang. I don't like that one bit. Move, move, move! Opening on the left. I got nothing here. Trap on that door on the right. Leave the talk. There's Bang. a bunch of stolen classified information. Disarm that trap. Cut that trap. I got this. All right, and we've now locked down this portion of the building, really working deliberately here. I've got another closed door to the left that looks like it goes outside. Check the door. 
Mirror for contacts. Got it. I got the mirror. It's good. All clear. Red, open, leader, and clear. Clear it after my go. 10 4. He's calling it all clear. For that reason, I'm going to open it and let it breathe for a second. Bang and clear. Move in. Toss a bang and clear. Bang out. I follow him in. Oh, shh. Good here. Red, stack up. There, move. How on route? I think we found the freaking... No, dude. Look Keep at that, it. please. All right, I'm going to leave them here for a second. There's a freaking basement, so that's a thing. This should loop back around to my other team. Yep, blue, check the door. Blue is the mirror. Check for targets. Mirror's ready. Open it on the right. Negative on any device. All good here. Open, leader, and clear. On my move. Open and clear. It. Move and clear. Move in. Clear the room. No Dang response to that stimulus. We'll take it. It does. Open it on the left. I thought I went external here. It didn't. Here. Oh, is this the murder hole room? Okay, it is. All right, so this floor seems to be clear. Heard more voices. Open, leader, and clear. Open and clear. I'm gonna open that, let it breathe that. as well. I don't know where it goes. It's external. Moving clear. Moving and clear. Confirm. I'm going. Over here, and we got stairs outside. Okay. This floor is clear. Um, I'm going to leave those guys on the stair for now. And see if we can get access to this basement. Blue, move here. Provide cover. En route. Blue, move here. Move there. Moving. All right. Here's that basement door we saw on infill. Blue, stack up. Put the stack on this door. I'm good to go. Wand it. Use the wand. Check for targets. Yep. You're ready. Hey, don't you think this is a little too fucking much? We're safe. I found the suspect. Well, we found him. Remove the wedge. Pick up that device. We should have just gone by. Blue, on my command. C2, bang, and clear. Post up and cover the area. All right, we know the suspect's on the outside of that door. I'm going to go get red in position, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm actually going to clear with blue since they are nearest the suspect. But I'm going to creep red down these stairs, see what we got down here first. Red, move here. Over there. Moving out. Another door. Whoa, trap, trap, trap. Disarm the trap. Disarm that trap. I've got this. Jesus, dude. This place is wild. Safe. Won't go oh, my God. There, go. Red, Move stack it. up. Split and cover. Moving up. Doors unlocked. Wand it. Mirror for suspects. Doing it. Wand is ready. Nothing. We're good. Suspect in sight. Oh. So there may be two down here. Red, on my command. C2, bang, and clear. Cover the area. All right, we're going simo explosive and bangs and then chasing it in. I'm going to clear with blue. I'm going to let red hit this on their own.
All right. It's about to get real, boys. Gold. Execute. Oh, I'm gonna... Order ready. Couple closed doors, two suspects, this guy. This dude's gillied out. Alright, he's arrested. Oh my god. Did he just try to knife the homies? And did I squeak that by? That was the most dangerous crossfire we've seen so far. Mission is soft complete. I don't want to tell them to search for anything yet because I don't know if there's any more freaking traps down here. Um, that could have gone really, really poorly. I think that's probably as good as it could have gone. I could have that clapped my top. homies. They could have clapped me. Top reporting. Uh, yeah. Go search the room for content. Right. Safe. Got a bag. Safe. Talk to high ground. Copy that. Put hey, we got it all. Let's go. We didn't have to go in that final room. I was nervous about it. Oh man, what a run. Got all our missions completed. Grab the soft objective, which was that evidence. Three suspects secure, five evidence secured. No officers dead. We get an A plus, my boys. And we arrested the targeted individual in that ghillie suit. And look at this, the boys are feeling okay. We got two boys content. Kim just unlocked nutritionist, which means that we'll get some bonus health going into next round. The other guys are just a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed. Robinson was stressed going in, so no change from him. Um, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys. What a run. And we're outside the station now? Hashtag blessed? What is out here? Unsurprisingly, there are cop cars. Very cool. So I guess, you know, truly, as you progress through the campaign, you start to unlock more and more stuff. What up, homie? You're not one of mine. You don't look cool enough to be one of mine. Neither are you. Okay, let's check out the evidence room real quick. See if we got any good tokens from this latest mission. We've also unlocked a new officer slot. Robinson's return to duty. Kim unlocked nutritionist. We are freaking cruising, guys. But I have a feeling the game is about to get very difficult. In the grand scheme, that mission is small and technical, but it's not hard necessarily. Um, they're about to get very freaking hard. Rice and spray. Okay, so this, look at that. Rice and spray. So that is freaking dangerous. Remember in the media that we saw, they um, had, oh my gosh, they had aerosolized ricin in that news report that was a threat to LSPD officers. It looks like we've recovered it. I don't know if that means the threat is gone, but we've at least recovered it. And look at how well done this model is. And just like kind of a terrifying uh, design as well. It looks like they've got it on a timer. The timer has a motor attached to the spray bottle, which will deploy ricin, which is aerosolized in a freaking pill bottle. And then going out a, uh, a little plunger. That's nuts. That's nuts. Okay, I wonder if there's anything else in here. Oh, wow. A United States Intelligence Agency challenge coin. So this was homies. After all those years in the intelligence agency, he left, became a conspiracy theorist, decided it was a good idea to kill cops, lost faith in the Republic, and still held on to his challenge coin. What a dork. Man, if you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed playing it, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for those of you who choose to do that. Stand by for the next episode. These are, uh, these are a lot of fun to play. They're very stressful to play. They're also a very heavy lift to get edited and out. So I'm doing them as fast as I can for you guys, and more will be on the way. I appreciate you so much for watching. I'm Controlled Pairs. This has been Ready or Not version 1.0 in Iron Man mode, and I will see you guys in the next one.